Hi everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and do a all-time favorites video for the stuff that I have here in Washington. I do have more makeup in Germany, but the, for the stuff that I've been using recently, this is going to be like a favorites video. So I guess let's go ahead and get started with makeup. Now for me, I have really oily skin and I have a lot of acne scarring from when I was younger. So in order to make the makeup last, uh, with my oily skin and to cover my acne scars this has been my all-time favorite foundation ever and I mean I've tried every single drugstore you can imagine high-end brands as well and this stuff is what works for me personally and this is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo foundation um, I use the color medium I have very little left in fact I need to buy more but it comes in a tube like this and I, what I like about this is you don't waste product. It literally pulls the product up and out. You don't waste any like in the, you know, other foundation bottles like this where you'll still see the tint of it on the outside of the rim even though you can't pump any more out. This stuff is amazing. It covers really well. It lasts. Um, it says 24 hour wear, though I don't know why you'd want it for wear it for 24 hours. You probably could. Um, it says matte finish. It comes out matte finish, yes. Uh, oil free, fragrance free, transfer resistant. I cannot rave more about this stuff. This is an amazing foundation if you have the same type of stuff that I have going on or you just want a full coverage foundation that will last. This is amazing. And I'm not sure if I remember the retail price. I think it's like around $36, $38 but well worth it. I've had this stuff for months and it's I still have some left so really good product and I use it almost every single day. Um, this is a race, recent favorite, but still a favorite. Um, it's the Revlon Color Burst in Honey 001. It's like a your lip color, but better. Um, it's, it, it's what I'm wearing right now. It's, it's really nice and smooth. Balm stain is what it says. So it's really conditioning. It's not sticky. It's really comfortable. It's a lip, your lip color, but better, like I said. So I am a huge fan of this. Also, really quick before I forget, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I've been using constantly, so much so that um, I'm getting to the end of it, is this um, Sleek Eyeshadow Palette in Ultra Matte uh, Volume 2. And it has amazing colors, as you can see. Um, really pretty, all matte. Uh, I've already hit pan on like three or four of them. They're very beautiful shades and they last a long time. So this is also like my number one eyeshadow palette and eyeshadows that I've been using. It comes like with every single color that you could need for like an everyday look. So this has also been a very, very used favorite palette for the past couple months. Also, yesterday I went to Daiso. It's a Japanese kind of dollar store. Everything's $1.50. And I've gone there a couple months ago and I bought these eyelashes and I cannot rave I cannot rave enough about these eyelashes. They are amazing. If you don't like full dramatic eyelashes and you like more natural but to emphasize your eyes, these are amazing. This is uh, the Daiso eyelashes in number 14. They look like this. Um, it says they are short, straight type, and they have little, you know, longer sections, shorter sections. It's amazing. I'm, I can't rave about this enough. And in fact, I have probably about 14 pairs of these. I've used about three of them because one pair lasted me like seven times. So that's how good they are for the price. Back to foundations. Now, if you can't afford $36 foundation, which like who really can? Um, <laughs> there's the drugstore versions. And my top two favorite drugstore foundations that I use um, if I don't want to use that for whatever reason, which I don't know why because I always do use my Kat Von D, is the uh, Revlon Color Stay 24 hour foundation and I think this is around $9. And also the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. Um, this is comparable to the Kat Von D one and I'd say, I'd say these are pretty, pretty much the same except maybe this one's a little bit more comparable to the Kat Von D one. So these are both awesome products, both around like $9 for a foundation. Um, they're both high coverage, so. So I use, I bought this probably last summer. I still have product left. It's Omega Eyeshadow from MAC, and I use this for my eyebrows every single day that I do my makeup. This stuff is amazing. You can still see that I have product left, but it's, it's like the perfect color if you have blonde hair to light 
blonde brown hair because I just dyed my hair brown light brown recently but this stuff is really amazing and like I only use it for my eyebrows and I still have a bunch left so I love this stuff this is all I use on my eyebrows okay for a drugstore eye primer I got this also a couple months ago a bunch of this stuff I got a couple months ago and this is the elf eye primer it's rubbed off on the um part here but it's the elf eye primer and this stuff is really good it's only three dollars I think but um, comparable to like the 16 plus dollar ones you can get at Sephora this works really well again I have oily skin and oily eyelids and I don't crease my eye eyeshadow doesn't crease when I use this stuff so it must work <laughs> uh, I got this eyeshadow or this not eyeshadow I got this blush from the UK swap I did with the quirky fox here on YouTube and I've been using this also every single day and it's um, called pink cloud and I think this is from the collection uh, 2000 I think that's from, I think that's what the brand is called, Collection 2000 or just Collection, I'm not sure. But it's, uh, yeah, Pink Cloud. It's a really pretty, dusty rose color. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, and it's a matte finish, so that's why, because I have oily skin, so at the end of the day, my skin is going to get kind of shiny, so that the fact that it's matte, I prefer matte, um, anything matte, like eyeshadows or blushes, so I like this a lot. Now to my favorite concealers. Um, my favorite concealers are there's one high end and one drugstore. The drugstore one is the Revlon um, Color Stay in a stick like this, and this one's in 003. I have them in probably like 001 to 003, like those three colors are the ones I always kind of keep revolving in my makeup collection. It um, lasts forever. I think this is also comparable to the MAC. Um, concealer the one that comes in the kind of little pot like their eyeshadows it's a really really good coverage it lasts a long time for the price so this is one of my favorite and the other one is also uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and it looks like this and comes like in a little pump like this this stuff I use under my eyes and it lasts doesn't settle into wrinkles set it with a setting powder it is an amazing amazing product highly recommend this for anybody out there who's looking for a concealer, either or, awesome product. Okay, on to skin. Um, oh wow, I think this is around Christmas time I got this. Uh, it is by Lush. It is a face and back mask. It smells really minty. It's a. Uh, it's supposed to be, and I asked her uh, what is the best stuff for like oily skin, and she handed me this one. And it was kind of expensive. It was probably around fifteen dollars. But I've used it, and when I have breakouts and stuff, it really helps dry out my skin to clear my skin. So I highly recommend this too. It's really good. And if you like the peppermint smell, like the fresh peppermint smell, I'd highly like, recommend it. It's You only use a little bit, which is awesome, and it's a green color, and it has kind of like a pebbly, I wouldn't say not pebbly, but like almost like grittiness to it. So when you put it on your skin, you're kind of exfoliating at the same time. So awesome. I'm really into... Um, scarves and I'll put an overlay clip here of a couple scarves that I've been wearing but like I'm really really into scarves here in the northwest it's still really chilly so um, definitely been needing the scarves and also I got this at Icings for only four dollars and it's a beanie and who can't beat four dollars for a beanie and the little detail here you know and what I like about the beanie is that it has this bill here um, I'm not really a huge fan of the beanies that are without it that just kind of look like that you know, just like that. I prefer the bill on the end right here. That's just a personal choice, but um, totally love this. And as far as clothing, accessories, etc., um, I got this ring from Icings as well. It's a love ring. I've just been wearing it next to my wedding band. Um, I don't know, just something to add on to it. And also, I've been wearing my Old Navy black uh, peacoat a lot lately and also this Columbia zip up jacket um, it's a fleece very comfortable it's been chilly here it's still winter time uh, snowed like two weeks ago week and a half ago here so I hope you enjoyed my favorites uh, just makeup and accessories and other stuff like that so I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching bye